Helen Nee here with Eyes on the Game at Extreme Couture, being joined by the man who needs no introduction, Mr. Francis Nganu. First off, happy belated birthday. Oh, thank you very much. I almost forgot about it. <laughs> well, it was less than a month ago. How did you celebrate? Uh, you know, not too much. Uh, I don't have a culture of celebrating birthday, so sometimes I just... People just remind me it's my birthday, and then I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah. Trying to make that day the best, though. Well, I'm glad that you're back here in Las Vegas, about to go train with Coach Eric Nixick. And I know you told the Schmo you're pushing hard for Francis versus Stipe, too. December 12th. Yes, exactly. That will be the likely what I will uh, want to have December 12th. When that rematch does happen, how do you visualize this fight playing out? this second time around? Well, um, how I visualize this fight, uh, first of all, uh, I'm not going to rush and uh, I'm gonna take my time to get prepared and then get there, uh, trying to execute my game plan, what we have been working on and put everything together to win the fight. So how do you see yourself winning that fight and winning that championship title? Doesn't matter, the most important is to win. Uh, we, because the first mistake that I did was uh, I worked uh, I worked in there uh, to knock him out and it didn't play well for me you know um, I never like truly worked in the fight to knock somebody out and then for the first time that I intend that it didn't work so I let him go yeah, so now a different approach the second time around yes different approach totally different approach well, speaking of championships and titles, I know your friend Israel Adesanya, he just beat Paulo Costa, and you were super excited when you spoke to the Schmo, and I follow you on Twitter, how you reacted to his win, but some people were kind of criticizing his post-fight celebration. What do you make of his post-fight celebration? Well, um, to understand his post-fight celebration, you have to go to the uh, pre-fight first. Yeah. You know, I think there was a lot of uh, back and forth between those two, two people. And then uh, uh, he took uh, a lot on him and get frustrated. Then he finally had an opportunity uh, to uh, let him go, to say it. And I mean, like when you say something back and then, um, I mean, when you say something and the they reply back to you. It might not be the great uh, thing that you would like to have, but you just have to take it because you are the one uh, that provoked that. A lot of people are talking about you training with Teddy Atlas. What was the biggest thing that you learned from that experience? Well, um, I think somebody like uh, Teddy Atlas, you're, you're always going to learn uh, from it. Um, and you can like just put one thing like is the biggest thing as other doesn't matter. Every single thing that you learn, every single thing uh, experience that uh, you have from a guy like him will be very uh, important. Now we've spoken, I believe last year about you wanting to transition into boxing as well. I saw months ago that you were sparring with Joe Joyce who spoke very highly of you in boxing. When can we expect a boxing debut? I don't have any idea about that. For now, I'm focused on the UFC title, yeah. and then um, we're gonna see how things plays out. Uh, how things uh, play out, you know. Um, it's it's just gonna be an opportunity. Uh, let's see how the Zufa boxing uh, do uh, is doing too. By the time. Absolutely. I respect that. The title, hopefully in December, you'll get that title shot. Now, lastly, a few uh, big fights coming up. First off, Habib versus Justin Gaethje. Just wanted to get your thoughts on that. Oh, Habib versus Justin Gaethje. Uh, <clears throat> I hope Habib took, uh, takes Justin Gaethje down very soon in the fight, which is something very complicated to do because Justin Gaethje have like uh, one of the best uh, takedown defense in the yeah. sport. Uh, since he's a wrestler himself, maybe not at the same level as Kabi, but enough to defend uh, takedown and all those to understand the uh, takedown game and to strike as a crazy motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> well said and also two guys that you have fought uh, Curtis Blades and Derek Lewis how do you see that fight playing out 
how do I see that fight play out? Well, I think Kurt is he's just gonna move around trying to strike, but mostly take Lewis, uh, Derek Lewis down and then row on him during the whole fight. What would you like to tell all your fans who can't wait to watch you fight Stipe for that rematch and that title? Well, uh, to stay tight, I'll be back soon. Um, and uh, hopefully we have December 12th, we're gonna go out there and put on some show and finally get that, uh, that belt.